As I entered my freshman year of college, I felt lost. I had just finished an internship and realized chemical engineering, it just wasn't for me. I didn't know what I wanted to do. All I knew was that I felt a lack of college spirit. Not being one to stay down for too long, I asked myself, what can I do to turn these feelings around? No sooner did I ask the question, I had a flash. I remember those times my mom and I would go to the bookstore. She loved to browse the bestseller list. So to kill time, I would head to the Guinness Book of World Records and learn about priceless facts about the world's smallest woman or the oldest living twins. <laughs> Little did I know that all those years back, these big, shiny books would one day bring me inspiration. One night during my first quarter proved to be special, not only because the cafeteria was serving, serving the Cuban spicy panini sandwich, delicious, but also because I had reached an epiphany, an epiphany <laughs> that I had to write down. So I thought to myself, self, did you know that there's over 20,000 undergraduates at UC Irvine? What? Well, then I thought, wouldn't it be kind of cool to break a Guinness World Record? Yes. <laughs> but this campus isn't exactly known for school spirit. But hey, maybe the fact that the campus lacks spirit is the very reason why this event needs to happen. And what better way to bring people together than to break a Guinness World Record? Those seemingly pointless hours in the bookstore just paid off. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Inspired and energized with this new idea, I was, I was pumped. I was ready to go. But where do I begin? So first, I thought I should look at some records that would be a good fit. Some were most people hula hooping. Most people dressed as Santa Claus. And they were fun and they were wacky. But then I stumbled upon in an instant, I could imagine thousands of students dodging, dipping, ducking, diving, hundreds of rubber toy balls. It was realistic and engaging. It was the world's largest game of dodgeball. The current record was held by the University of Alberta, Canada, with 1,198 participants. We had enough students to easily break that. But where does a freshman go to convince 20,000 students to participate? Walk around the campus, shaking hands, saying, hey, how are you? Want to help me break a Guinness World Record? Stumped, but not defeated, I went back to my dorm room, sat at my desk, and began thinking of the next steps. And then it hit me, athletics. I met with the athletics director, and he seemed cautiously helpful. He gave me contacts of people who, I could, uh, who could possibly help me uh, achieve this dream of mine. And those contacts, in turn, gave me two to three more people to contact. I was on a roll. And although I received many firm, no, and what? I persisted. I believed that this idea of creating camaraderie was bigger than all of the no's combined. These doubters fueled my passion and lifted my spirits higher than a kite on a windy day. Then, and higher than a kite on a windy day. <laughs> so I got started. Visiting as many departments as I physically could, I met with people who handled location space, funding, school broadcasts, everyone, anyone I could think of, I went to for help. And then I enlisted my dream team. My business partner and two dorm mates. We created a website to gauge student participation and sponsorship deals. <sighs> the problem was, Things just weren't falling into place. Only 900 students registered online. We couldn't find any sponsors to help donate the thousands of dollars we needed to fund this event. And the cost of a Guinness World Record official to oversee this event is around 6,000 US dollars. Yikes. After a short stint of feeling sorry for myself, I realized that my passion and my drive to break a Guinness World Record was still there. 
It just, it wouldn't go away. And then it hit me. The perfect organization to help me achieve my dream, the associated students. They had the connections and they had the funds. <laughs> Armed with my past experiences, I spent my summer planning this revised dream of mine. It was exciting. I could see this event. I could just see it in, my, in front of my eyes. It, it was taking shape. It was gaining traction. And then, round two. We got to the gym at 5 a.m., inflated 600 balls in a mere one hour. That in itself must have been a world record, no? And then by 11 a.m., hundreds of students filled the gym ready for action. Then, the buzzer sounded. The music, the balls flying everywhere. Oh my gosh, the spirit seeping out of the pores of each and every player. Oh, so much emotion rushed through my veins. It actually happened. This was the moment that I had worked so hard for. And then, the game was over after one hour. Now the question in all the students' mind was, did we, did we break the record? As the officials calculated and tallied the results, the tension in the air was tighter than the strings of a new tennis racket. <laughs> then the results were in. The official stepped onto center stage and announced, you see Irvine is now the new world record holder of the world's largest game of dodgeball. <sighs> the crowd went wild. We did it. We actually did it. I literally teared up. And this past fall quarter, when I was abroad, the student government organized the event again for a second time. This time, they had over 4,000 participants. By golly gosh, this event lives long beyond me. And that makes me a happy camper. And get this, the University of Alberta, Canada broke our record again for a second time with almost 5,000 participants. Dogs. Let the international rivalry begin. The moral of my story is that many people in this beautiful world of ours have brilliant ideas. Sliced bread, Velcro, sticky notes, all great ideas. But sometimes people don't take the time to transform these ideas into reality, right? To me, the most important step when achieving a goal is oftentimes the most difficult. I can guarantee that if you put the passion and the drive behind this first step, you can achieve this goal. And even if you don't, if things don't go as planned, at least you gave it a shot, right? That in itself is priceless. Because you tried, you'll go through all of the, the triumphs, the hardships, and the obstacles and become a better you. Dreams can be accomplished. My fantasy became a reality. And so can yours. You just have to put forth the effort. And as a friend once told me, life opens up when you do. What's your dream? Write it down. Thank you.